What's going on, Phil Rogers? I'm Joshua Thomas, and I am back to talk about more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And specifically in this, what level are we going to start at? What kind of equipment are we going to have? Will we have materia? What level is it going to be? All that kind of stuff. And I think the answer is simpler than we're letting it out to be. Uh, I think that we're going to just kind of start over as though it were a brand new game and there wasn't a remake before it. I mean, it makes sense that we would maybe start off at level six and, you know, after the first battle, go to level seven, just like in remake. And I'm not just, you know, throwing this out there because I think it's what they're gonna do. I think there's plenty of evidence to back it up. Uh, number one being that the devs have said that they want to make Rebirth a, an entry point for new Final Fantasy fans. So for some reason, if someone hasn't played Remake, they can enter Rebirth and not feel out of place or overwhelmed. Uh, it, it would be a little too much for a brand new player, especially to the Final Fantasy VII universe, to all of a sudden have control of five characters with all of the abilities that they had from the original Remake and all this, you know, 30 pieces of materia that they have no idea what it does. And I do realize that Chapter 1 of Rebirth could very well be uh, the flashback to Nibelheim where we tag along with Sephiroth to Mount Nebel. Uh, and I could definitely imagine us having a smaller set of materia, maybe even start off at level 1. I really do hope that we are level 1 in the flashback. But even after that, even after only getting maybe one or two chapters in the flashback, we're gonna cut back to having four to five party members, uh, probably soon after that getting a sixth one, and new players are gonna need time to get used to all these new characters and abilities that they have. Um, in Remake, we were slowly introduced one by one to each of the different characters and their playstyles, all four of the ones that we were able to play. We were introduced to uh, two in Chapter 1, Tifa in Chapter 3, and then Aerith all the way in Chapter 8. The curve for entry is going to be much steeper this time because chances are by Chapter 2 or 3, we're going to have access to five or six party members all of whom have their own unique playstyles, and all of whom may have special abilities, may have one or two materia that comes with them. But I know a lot of people are saying, well, I think they could still do a sort of transfer your save file over thing, and that's a possibility, but that's also, well, that may not be as likely as you would think. And I, I've got one really good example I've been playing God of War Ragnarok on the PlayStation 5, and, well, you start over at level 1 with them, too. And they really don't have any good excuse as to why. Yeah, sure, a few years have passed, and, you know, you could say that, oh, well, he didn't train that much. But you know Kratos. He's gonna train, and he's gonna train his son as well. In fact, when you get to Brock and Sindri, I think for the first time, they even make this snarky comment of, hey, what happened to all that gear that we got for you? And Kratos says, just plainly, I used it. That's his excuse. Like, that's just, you. that's like a metagame commentary right there. They are pretty much making fun of the fact that, yes, this is the second part of a series, and he's starting over with all this you know, nothing. This just plain gear. And you know Kratos as well always harks to his son about always being prepared. And yet he got rid of his best armor from the last game? That's not the that's not something Kratos would do. But it is something that a video game developer would do. Because once again, God of War Ragnarok might be a lot of people's very first God of War game that they ever play and it would be too much to introduce them to two weapons and every single ability that they could possibly have. Not only that, but the axe starts over at level one and looking like it's at level one. I mean, 
what what happened to make the axe de-level? Yeah, sure, it's magical, you can argue that, but blacksmiths improved it, so yeah. No, the, the reason that Kratos starts over with hardly anything and level one materials is because it's a brand new game and it's much better entry-level stuff for new players. And now my last suggestion as to why we're simply just going to start over with levels is because, well, they pretty much kind of already tell us at the end of Remake. If we succeed, if we win, we'll be changing ourselves. We'll be losing most of our materia, and our weapons, and probably our skills too. Maybe. That's why I hesitated. So yeah, there you go. That's actually a legitimate excuse as to why the characters may start fresh. They're changing themselves. They're entering this new realm or new reality. We're not even sure yet. That's another reason why I think that we're simply just going to start fresh in the beginning of Rebirth. Let me know what you guys think, and be sure to check out more board game and video game videos, including these, uh, which talk more about our beloved Final Fantasy VII franchise. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.